All right, Virgo, now you have communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. All right, let's see what's going on here. Somebody wants to communicate with you, try to come to a compromise, forgive, work something out. Oh, yeah, somebody's very serious about this. Yes, very serious. Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords. Want to try to have some type of new growth, put everything uh, in the past, put the past in the past, and try to work on something here, Virgo. Okay. Death card could be a Scorpio. Definitely wants to talk to you. Okay. Wants to have some, like, I feel like this person, whoever they are, is very serious about putting in the effort and, and making something work here with you. Okay. There's definitely going to be some text messages. They want to work something out here. They hope that you forgive them. They're willing to compromise with whatever needs to be compromised. They're not going to be a taker and be selfish. We'll figure out a way to make something work here. And yeah, look at that judgment. That's Scorpio energy again. Could be Aries. This person, um, well, it's Pluto. So no, take back that Aries thing. I don't know why I said that. Well, maybe it is. So uh, this is reconciliation. Everything coming out. This Somebody's having like a huge awakening kind of moment. Uh, maybe they were very judgmental towards you and said some things that were a bit off the cuff. And now they want to apologize. They're very serious. They're coming in very direct. So I feel there's going to be direct communication. They want to take charge of this. And um, so in January... You know, maybe everything as you're listening right now is like, what? I don't get it. It could happen later where you guys get in some kind of argument or fight. And this person immediately like, let's not go to bed angry. Let's not go to bed mad. They try like, no, let's try to work this out. Like, will they give you your space? I mean, I don't, I don't think so. Because with the Knight of Swords, that's like, nope, nope, you ain't getting no space. Nope, we're going to talk about it. I'm really sorry. Um, let me see here. Let's try to like re replant these seeds and work on building them up. Okay. And just continue on this journey that we're on. Okay. So yeah. Are you going to have like, yeah, there's going to be some kind of breakdown, some kind of like argument or a fight of some sort with someone. That's three times a Scorpio card is here. Why does Scorpio get three damn cards? I don't think any sign gets three cards. Death card, card is definitely Scorpio judgment is well you know why I, f I forgot that's why because their planet ruled like one card will be say for example scorpio but the tower can also be aries okay that's why i said that and judgment is pluto but the tower tower can be aries and scorpio because it's mars run it's ruled by the planet mars and judgment is ruled by pluto which pluto keeps things very secretive but judgment is an opening up so that's a huge change. Um, I feel like something gets said either to you and like directly or you push back and say something. Okay. Or you defend yourself or whatever the case might be in January. And there's definitely like we have two text bubbles here so it could be over text something gets said or doesn't get said or whatever it might be or is taken wrong texting is just terrible because <laughs> people just kind of project how the other person is feeling through text <laughs> do you ever see that meme that guy he's like i don't know you have to look it up there's like two guys texting each other and they're they're reading the text in two different ways and the one guy on the one side is like really happy and loving and the other guy's really angry so he's thinking everything his friend is telling him he's being mean but it's not what's happening so when you're texting with someone you're missing all of the inflections in the voice you're you're missing the facial behavior you know, you, texting is great if you're just going to send a cute little emoji or you're going to make some plans. 
it's not good for having a good like a deep conversation it's not because people project or they misconstrue so that's why again me with my go beating around the bush here that's why i feel like there may be some kind of communication through text or someone sees someone's text to another person and it is taken out of context that's what i feel like happens here in january text or comment or some type of written word written communication and another person is like no 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 you know uh, they open up about it you know what i somebody opens up about what they saw what they read what they thought um and it's like can we just not like another person opens up and tells the truth about like what it actually was or what was meant okay so january yeah there's a little bit of a, a blip on the radar but then it's like okay no we're going to communicate and try to work it out try to forgive even if something was not misconstrued and it was intentional that's the part of the blip in the radar that's the why does dunkin donuts still have these wreaths these christmas ornament coffees like are, isn't christmas over so yeah even if it's not intentional and something happens that's found out or something gets said that was hurtful there is this forgiveness let's work it out let's talk let's try to figure stuff out here let's let's compromise let's try to understand the situation okay i went the long way with that it's not what you're thinking this is someone's all up in fantasy someone's um it, it is it i'm just hearing it's even about someone not replying to a text um because of ghosting thinking someone is ghosting okay so it's kind of like if if someone has their phone off right um and you send them a text and they don't respond ever to the text because they had their phone off i guess and it doesn't go through or something along those lines it's this everything being based on this <laughs> communication it's like is someone ghosting it's it's not what it is it's not what it seems to be that's what i'm saying somebody's like oh this person like they might have been off or out of uh, uh, no wi-fi i'm hearing or maybe they don't have they might be someone who runs out of minutes they have a pay phone kind of thing like pay pay card by minutes or something like that yeah that's really oh my gosh these readings i swear um somebody has like some kind of disaster the power goes out where they live somebody's trapped they're kind of stuck in a bad situation they can't respond there's just all this misconstrued bs i think it's better to be patient wait and find out what's going on okay the three of cups seeking support from friends so virgo If you are this, if you are the Virgo, that's kind of like, I don't understand what's happening. They didn't reply. Nothing's going on. I don't, or this was said or that was said, and you're feeling kind of down. Talk to your friends. Don't get on, you know, your texting game and start freaking out to somebody. Just take a step back, breathe. Try to get some logical thought process going. If this is an emotional situation, try to bring some logic into it. Um, connect with the people who can give you good support. Not Don't connect with people. I say this all the time. And I say this out of experience. If you have a friend that's like, hates is hating on the opposite sex, they can't keep a relationship, they struggle in their relationships. They're super insecure. Do not go to them for love advice. Okay? Do not. Seek love advice from people who you know have had a long-term successful relationship. That's my advice to you. Do not go to your friends, same-sex friends about the opposite sex. Go to the opposite sex about the opposite sex. Because I can tell you for sure, 
sometimes the opposite sex, and yeah, I'm, I'm speaking sex here, not gender. Sometimes the opposite sex, like men, for example, um, might get the text and then forget to respond because they're watching the game. It's that stupid, right? I, and I'm not saying that that's what the situation is, but and I'm not saying that's cool, but it sometimes it is what it is, right? And 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 if that's not cool with you, that's fine. You deal with the way you need to deal with it. But go to your people if you need that support because you're feeling sad or you're just regretting reaching out or regretting something that you said. Go to your people who are going to uplift you so that you walk away feeling better about yourself and the person that you love, right? Um, not someone who's going to tell you, oh, you need to get away from that person because they're this and that because... The person who's telling you that never sorted out their own issues, right? That's just a little... I feel like a big sister sometimes here. I need to stop doing that, but I can't help it. Um, so, yeah, that's your advice there. Seek out the support of mature people who've had long-term, like, that have wisdom, that have experience, okay? Because I feel like whatever the situation is, things are going to be okay. I feel like um, you and this person are going to talk about stuff and um, sort it out, come to like a good place with things. Um, but you got to open up and like not, I, I don't feel like you're going to be that person who's like, you know, taking the, the sword and slashing them, you know, like a pirate. I feel like it, you, you'll be more, once you get yourself kind of sorted, because you might be feeling a little trapped or insecure about it. Once you get yourself sorted, I mean, there will be conversation between the two of you. And this person, you know, will tell you what happened or why they said what they said or didn't reply at all or why they acted the way they did and you'll be able to like talk about how you felt about that and then you know there's forgiveness and I feel like this person you know wants is hoping that there will be forgiveness and you guys can just keep getting back to consistently working and making up putting effort into the relationship Aries right there okay so I'm feeling pretty strong with this whole Aries, Scorpio, Mars, Pluto stuff going on here. Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean like if that's not your person's sign, it could be a Capricorn, right? You two seems like can't let go of each other. You might have a little bit of toxicity in that relationship that needs to be dealt with. Some patterns need to be changed in the way you interact with one another. Yeah. There's the blessing. And the opportunity will come about where you guys will have that opportunity to connect and make the plans that you need to make to try to keep things going forward. And I feel like this person definitely, you know, it, it may be both of you. It could just be on your end. It could just be on theirs where they're the ones who are like, what do I do? What do I say? I, I really screwed up or I messed up or... Virgo's really upset because they didn't reply or something happened, you know, and they're seeking support from their friends. But either way, it's like, yes, let's try to work through this. It's a it's a speed bump. I saw something funny the other day. Why are there why is there enough tar and pavement for speed bumps, but there's not enough for potholes? Can anybody answer that question? Because that's the question. That's my question. All right, let me see. Look, yeah, and then you guys will be able to, like, start over, put the past in the past, and, and begin a new chapter here, you know, finish. So it's kind of like reading a book, and you just get to the, the nasty parts of the book, you know, and then turn the page, and now we're on a new chapter here. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to work out. The communication is going to come. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.